Imagine the earth trembling beneath the colossal wheels of a logging truck, its horn a defiant blare as it conquers the rugged terrain, a bridge between the silent wilderness and the world that yearns for wood. Witness the raw power of a chainsaw, its teeth biting into ancient bark, each stroke carving a path of change, guiding giants to their final slumber. Step into the heart of the sawmill where a mesmerizing choreography unfolds. Debarkers strip away the forest's cloak, revealing the smooth beauty of the wood beneath. Trimmers sculpt logs into uniform stanzas, each pass dictating the rhythm of production. Edgers paint the final width, transforming square cuts into rectangles of endless possibilities. Stackers, guided by robotic intelligence, sort and organize the finished lumber, each piece finding its destined place in the grand poem of the sawmill. So, join us on this journey through the world of the Timber Titans. Feel the pulse of the forest in the thrum of engines, witness the metamorphosis of raw wood into the building blocks of civilization, and celebrate the human spirit that shapes nature into a symphony of progress. Number 1. The Iron Ballet Dancer, Fella Buncher The forest holds its breath as a tremor announces its arrival. From the emerald embrace of the trees emerges a mechanical colossus, the Fella Buncher. This titan of steel, its joints greased with purpose, stalks the forest floor with hydraulic grace. Its towering arms, outstretched like a conductor's baton, reach skyward, not to beckon the heavens, but to grapple with fallen giants. No delicate ballerina this, the Fella Buncher is a choreographer of fallen wood. Its waltz is a symphony of clangs and groans, its movements a calculated blend of power and precision. With a deftness that belies its size, it lifts logs the length of houses, twirling them like dominoes to stack them neatly on its waiting trailer. Each movement carries the weight of responsibility, ensuring the fallen giants find their place in the grand design of the forest's transformation. Yet, within the cold steel beats a human heart. The operator, perched high in the belly of the beast, commands its every step. His brow furrowed in concentration, his hands dance on levers, dictating the ballet with practiced ease. Years of experience whisper to him the secrets of the forest, guiding him to navigate the terrain with respect and efficiency. The Fella Bunch's impact goes beyond the forest floor. It bridges the gap between wilderness and civilization, delivering the bounty of the woods to waiting mills and hungry communities. Its presence signifies progress, a testament to human ingenuity that tames the raw power of nature with calculated choreography. But this iron dancer also leaves its mark, a scar on the verdant canvas of the forest, each log lifted, each giant surrendered, echoes a whisper of responsibility. The Fella Buncher stands as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between progress and preservation, a call to remember that the forest's symphony holds notes of both creation and loss. Number 2. The Felling Master Chainsaw Steel MS-881 Magnum In the hushed cathedral of ancient giants, where sunlight filters through verdant leaves and the air hums with the whispers of bark, a beast awakens. The Steel MS-881 Magnum, king of the cutting crew, roars to life, its engine a guttural growl that commands respect. This is no dainty tool for trimming hedges. The MS-881 is a sculptor of titans, a maestro of the felling dance. With a weight of 21 pounds and a bite powerful enough to cleave the stoutest trunks, the MS-881 commands awe. Its 6.4 kilowatt engine, a symphony of raw power, drives a 41-inch guide bar capable of slicing through logs thicker than a man's thigh. In the hands of a skilled logger, the MS-881 becomes an extension of their will, each stroke etching lines of precision on the canvas of the forest floor. But brute force is only half the story. The MS-881 is also a paragon of ergonomic design. Its anti-vibration technology tames the engine's fury, protecting the logger's arms from unwanted tremors. Its quick start system dispels the frustration of cold mornings, while its fuel efficient engine ensures each tank lasts through the toughest jobs. Owning the MS-881 is a statement. It signifies mastery of the craft, a recognition of the respect due to both the forest and the tools 
that tame it. It's a badge of honor worn by professional loggers, a testament to their skill and their understanding of the delicate balance between progress and preservation. Number 3. The Earthshaker Logging Truck Its rumble precedes its arrival, a tremor thrumming through the forest floor that announces the Titan's approach. From the hazy veil of dust emerges the logging truck, a behemoth of steel and rubber cloaked in the scent of pine and diesel. Its maw gapes wide, hungry for the fallen giant stacked upon its trailer. This Earthshaker is no mere vehicle. It's a bridge between the silent wilderness and the bustling world. On its sturdy backbone rests the bounty of the woods, logs like fallen soldiers, each bearing the scars of wind and time. The driver, weathered by a thousand dusty miles, sits perched high above the fray, his every movement a calculated conquest of the terrain. With a grunt of gears and a defiant blare of its horn, the logging truck tackles the unforgiving road. Muddy paths churn beneath its colossal wheels, steep inclines conquered with unwavering determination. It is a ballet of power and control, man and machine harmonizing against the raw might of nature. Yet this titan's impact transcends mere transportation. It carries the weight of lives and livelihoods, its payload fueling homes, industries and the very infrastructure that defines our modern world. Each log it hauls bears silent witness to the complex dance between progress and preservation, leaving its mark on both the forest and the world beyond. Number 4. The Unassuming Magician Debarker The mist hangs heavy in the sawmill's belly, cloaking the debarker in a veil of steam. This unassuming titan, dwarfed by its kin, hums a monotonous counterpoint to the roaring symphony of the mill. Yet within its unassuming guise lies a quiet magic an act of transformation as mesmerizing as it is relentless. Its steel fingers, tipped with razor-sharp knives, dance a hypnotic waltz around the arriving logs. With each pass, the bark surrenders, its rough cloak peeled away like a discarded stage costume. Beneath it, the wood awakens, its raw beauty revealed, smooth, pale and ready for its next grand act. The man at the helm, weathered by years of sawdust and steam, guides the debarker's dance with quiet precision. His eyes, once bright with the thrill of felling, now hold a steady focus, ensuring each stroke removes the past without marring the future. He is a conductor of this silent ballet, orchestrating the shedding of the forest's wildness and preparing the wood for its new life in the human world. But the debarker's magic comes at a cost. With each barkless log, a layer of nature's resilience is stripped away. The whispers of the forest, once etched in the rough exterior, are silenced, replaced by the clean lines of human purpose. The unassuming magician, therefore, stands at a crossroads. It is a symbol of progress, transforming raw materials into the building blocks of civilization. Yet, it is also a reminder of the delicate balance between our needs and the natural world's whispers. As the logs emerge from its embrace, smooth and pale, we are left to ponder. Are we simply revealing beauty or stripping away the secrets that once held the forest's essence? Number 5. The Precision Poet Trimmer In the bustling ballet of the sawmill, where lumber sways to the beat of whirring blades and steam hisses a rhythmic chorus, the trimmer emerges. This unsung hero, cloaked in a symphony of sawdust and the hiss of hydraulics, is the precision poet of the log's journey. It sculpts stanzas of perfect length, ensuring each piece joins the grand poem of the sawmill in harmony. Imagine rough logs, still whispering tales of the forest, entering the trimmer's embrace. Its razor-sharp teeth, glinting like steel verses, bite into the wood with practiced ease. Each measured stroke, guided by unerring sensors and the operator's practiced eye, savors off unwanted inches, transforming the rustic into the refined. Inches melt away with each rhythmic pass, crafting stanzas of uniform length, ready for the next chapter in the woods saga. The trimmer's operator, a conductor of this metallic orchestra, stands poised at the helm. He reads the woods language deciphering the knots and twists that tell a story of growth and resilience. 
With a flick of his wrist and a tap of the controls, he adjusts the trimmer's dance, ensuring each cut whispers the perfect rhyme. In his hands, the raw potential of the log is shaped into standardized stanzas, ready to take their place in the ever-evolving poem of the lumberyard. But the trimmer's impact echoes beyond the physical realm. Its precise stanzas dictate the rhythm of the sawmill, ensuring each piece of wood finds its destined role. From sturdy beams to delicate veneers, the trimmer sculpts the possibilities, paving the way for the wood to weave its magic into countless creations. This unsung hero, with its tireless dedication to uniform beauty, ensures the smooth flow of the Samuel's symphony one stanza at a time. Number 6. The Whisperer of Splinters, Splitter In the heart of the sawmill, where the roar of saws and the hiss of steam weave a symphony of industry, stands the Whisperer of Splinters. This unassuming titan, cloaked in shadows and dust, hides a power that echoes within the very grain of the wood. The Splitter, a master of division, severs logs into whispers of timber, its steel blades parting giants into ribbons of possibility. With a slow, rhythmic groan, the Splitter awakens. Its hydraulic arms, strong as ancient oaks, cradle a hefty log, its surface marked by the rough caress of the chainsaw. Then, with a whisper-sharp hiss, the blades descend. Not a scream, not a crash, but a sigh of surrender as the wood yields to the splitter's will. Each pass cleaves the log, slicing it lengthwise, transforming it from a singular monolith into a tapestry of planks, each with its own unique story to tell. The operator, a man seasoned by years of sawdust and sweat, guides the splitter's dance with practiced ease. His eyes, keen as a hawk's, scan the wood, reading its secrets in the lines of grain. He adjusts the pressure, the angle, ensuring each cut reveals the hidden potential within. Through his hands, the splitter's whisper becomes a language, a conversation between man and machine, wood and steel. From the splitter's embrace, a myriad of possibilities are born. Wide planks for sturdy beams, narrow strips for delicate veneers, each whispering the echoes of the fallen giant from which it came. The splitter is not just a machine, but a storyteller, carving the future into every slice of wood it releases. It shapes the bones of houses, the soul of furniture, the foundation of countless creations, all born from the whispered secrets of the forest. Number 7. The Dancing Blades – Edger Where the splitter whispers, the edger dances. This whirling titan, with its mesmerizing ballet of circular saws, paints the final width onto the planks. Its blades, spinning in synchronized harmony, transform square cuts into rectangles of various thicknesses. Each pass sculpts the wood, revealing its hidden potential, from sturdy beams to delicate veneers. The edger is a master of refinement, adding the final touches to the wood's journey before it embarks on its new life. Number 8. The Sorting Sphinx – Stacker The stacker is more than just a sorting machine, it's a silent conductor of the wood's destiny. It ensures each piece fulfills its potential, from becoming the backbone of a skyscraper to gracing a craftsman's workbench. Its impact transcends the sawmill walls echoing in the homes we build, the furniture we cherish, the art we admire. Yet beneath its robotic grace, the stacker whispers a cautionary tale. It reminds us of the fleeting nature of the forest, the transformation of giants into smaller, more manageable pieces. Its efficiency begs the question, are we harvesting too much, too quickly? As the stacks climb higher, we must ensure the forest's whispers continue to be heard, a gentle counterpoint to the stacker's silent symphony. Number 9. The Master of Curves – Log Turner The sawmill floor vibrates with the thrum of machines, but amidst the cacophony, a silent dance unfolds. This stage belongs to the Master of Curves, the Log Turner. Its steel arms, sleek and powerful, reach out like the limbs of a metallic oak, gripping logs that dwarf even the mightiest men. With a whisper of hydraulics, it lifts them, cradles them, and with a dancer's grace, spins them on their axis. The turner's operator, perched in his glass turret, guides this waltz of wood and steel. 
his eyes, seasoned by years, read the whispers of the grain, anticipating the log's natural bend. His hands, a symphony of levers and buttons, coax the turner's arms through a precise ballet, positioning the log for the edge's hungry blades. Each turn is a negotiation, a conversation between nature's curve and the demands of industry. The turner hums along, respecting the grain's whispers while ensuring the lumber conforms. It is a bridge between the wild and the ordered, a sculptor that refines nature's rough draft into the smooth lines of progress. But the turner's impact goes beyond shaping lumber, it shapes lives. The logger, the trucker, the mill worker, their livelihoods dance in rhythm with the turner's waltz, it is a silent conductor, orchestrating the forest's transformation into homes, furniture and a million other silent testaments to human ingenuity. Number 10. The Hydraulic Harvester Forget the snarling roar of chainsaws, step into the cathedral of the forest and listen for the gentle hiss of the hydraulic harvester. This silent titan, cloaked in emerald shadows, glides along the forest floor like a ghost, its metallic limbs reaching skyward with mechanical grace. Its secret weapon, razor-sharp shears powered by hydraulic muscle that bite into towering giants with the delicate precision of a surgeon. No longer a brutal symphony of clashing steel and falling trees, the hydraulic harvester operates with an eerie quietude. Its movements are slow and deliberate, each snip like a whispered farewell to the fallen giants. The operator, nestled in a high glass perch, navigates the canopy with the skill of a seasoned climber, meticulously selecting each tree based on age, health and sustainable practices. This modern hunter doesn't leave carnage in its wake. The harvester deftly branches out the fallen giants, stacking them like logs in a silent library. Its shears, unlike the chainsaw's brutal bite, leave clean cuts, minimizing waste and maximizing the usable wood. The whisperer isn't just a harvesting machine, it's a testament to human ingenuity, minimizing the impact on the forest while providing the vital resource of timber. Number 11. The Titan of Timber – The Log Hauler The heart of the timber operation pulsates with the primal roar of the log hauler. This behemoth of steel and rubber isn't a whisperer, it's a thunderous titan, a rumbling mountain that conquers the rugged terrain with the brute force of a charging bull. Its colossal tires churn the mud, leaving deep scars in the earth as it claws its way up steep slopes, defying gravity with every groan of its engine. Its trailer, a steel cage groaning under the weight of fallen giants, resembles a dragon's hoard of timber riches. Each log, a testament to the fallen giants, rests precariously on its flatbed, a silent trophy claimed by the titan. Number 12. The Mountain Ram, the Timber Wolf 686. Imagine a beast born of rock and fire, a creature so immense it makes mountains flinch. That's the Timberwolf 6x6, a logging truck sculpted from raw power and defiance. Its six monstrous wheels churn the earth like an iron centipede, each bite leaving scars deeper than any wolf's claws. Its engine, a heart forged in the fires of industry, roars with enough fury to shake boulders loose from cliffs. This titan of timber isn't built for smooth asphalt. It craves the jagged teeth of mountain roads, the treacherous dance of mud and loose shale. Its suspension, a symphony of steel and air, swallows boulders like snacks, ensuring its cargo of fallen giants arrives unscathed. The driver, a weathered warrior tempered by countless miles of wilderness, guides this metal beast with the wisdom of a mountain goat and the nerve of a lion tamer. The Timberwolf isn't just a truck, it's a force of nature tamed, a living testament to human audacity. It conquers peaks that eagles wouldn't dare, laughs at blizzards that bury lesser machines and carries its burden like a trophy claimed in battle. Its impact isn't just in timber delivered, it's in the carving of new paths, the whispers of progress echoing through the canyons. From whispering blades to roaring engines, we've journeyed through the symphony of the Timber Titans. These 12 machines, from the chainsaw's delicate touch to the log hauler's defiant roar, weave a complex tapestry of progress and nature. But their story isn't just steel and wood, and if you enjoyed this symphony of steel and wood, don't forget to subscribe for more tales.